So why was my computer micro freezing? Well, I don't really have an answer for that other than it probably was the motherboard. So what did I do to troubleshoot this thing? Checked if the drivers were updated. Updated the mother fucking <laughs> BIOS. I uninstalled Windows probably like eight times in one month just to try to get this to stop freezing. And it's in it. Now contributing factors that me personally I could have done was I deleted .dil files which I didn't know if they were a part of my old computer and I was like what the hell are these but that's essentially what computer games do if you have them on a separate drive they'll essentially just download these .dil files like all loosely and it annoys me in particular because I don't like loose files just to be hanging there you know so I was just like, what the hell are these? And I deleted them, and so I just thought it was that, and over time it caused problems. But it wasn't that, no. <laughs> no, it apparently wasn't that, because reinstalling Windows didn't do shit. So then, after that, I thought it could be the RAM that I just installed to my computer, which I put in the old ones, just the old ones, tested out for a few days. Still persisted to do it, then I took out the old ones, put the new ones in, still persisted to do it, reset that CMOS, made sure that I had no overclocks going, still persisted to do it, on which, yes, I do overclock my hardware just so I get more performance out of it. So then, what else I did was I removed my capture card that was in the PCI slot, that didn't do anything. So then at this point I'm thinking, okay, I've literally done everything and I know it can't be the CPU because it's booting into Windows and it's actually like running stable in uh, stress tests. So what could it be other than that? So I just maybe assumed maybe the power supply or the motherboard at that point. On which replacing the board seems to have fixed it. Now I did... There's one other contributing factor that I did that could have probably fucked over the motherboard. And that was the US broken USB. So maybe Windows kept trying to get that USB to work and kept checking if anything was plugging in plugged into it, and it would just start micro freezing because cause let me tell ya, MSI's IO shields are friggin' fantastic. Fantastic, I say, even though I screwed up the one with the Corsair board, but it didn't break the USB drive <laughs> this time, so. And there was only like one of those st stupid little pins. Like, I hate those. I wish, like, when you like push in on the fucking IO shield, it would actually just go in and you didn't have to do anything else. But for some odd reason, we still haven't gotten to that point with computers. <laughs> Man. So I went through all of this trouble just to figure out it was the board. Now one other thing that could have also been. It could have been, well two other things, two. It could have been that me putting my computer to sleep mode so often that when it was storming outside the power went off when I wasn't at home and which caused something to screw up with the motherboard. Which is a possibility. Another thing could be there was thermal paste on the on the CPU socket, and it kind of weirded me out because when I was installing my water cooler for my CPU. I was having like a lot of trouble because I didn't realize there was already an Intel bracket on there. So what I was doing, I was like, it was going like you know moving back and forth with the. Uh, thermal paste pad on it, so I don't know how it could have possibly went in there because essentially I had it's on just the CPU, not the socket really at all. Not sure if it could have just seeped through there, but it was just really strange to me that that even occurred because you know I don't squirt. <laughs> squirt the fucking thermal paste on the socket that's just stupid uh, but maybe just a little bit just rubbed off on the socket and i just didn't realize when i installed the cpu but even before that there was no issues with the cpu before that usb gave me any issues so i'm more or less thinking it was the usb 
and it could have been a really easy fix to where all I had to do was just disable that USB, but I also didn't really want to screw up that because, you know, there's so many other ports that that USB could be, so trying to figure out which USB port it, that is, it's just going to be annoying to just, you know, uh, trial and error every single USB port on there, even though there's not that many. You, you still get my point, I just didn't really feel like doing that. And I ended up just buying the ASUS Prime X470 Pro, which has really cool RGB, even though I'm not a huge fan of it, I just like having my stable colors on it, so it's not that big of a deal. And yeah, that's really all I can say about my problems with that motherboard slash my micro freezing on my computer because I did a, quite a lot of troubleshooting and I just wasn't sitting around for a month twiddling my thumbs just waiting for it to stop. No, it was really pissing me off for a while and like I've been wanting to make fucking content but that's been like the one thing that's been distracting me and I haven't put out videos because I'm like at this point I'm just sick of not making contents and I'm just happy. Finally, I'm able to fucking make videos and stream with a peace of mind. And while editing this video, if this, if it ends up micro freezing, this will just be one big meme. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below because I've never really had a problem where a computer kept doing that. And you know, I would think it would be the graphics card, and it wasn't the graphics card. With that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. I got a band-aid on my finger from messing with my computer. Battle scars. Mm -hmm.